All right, let's do this by the numbers. One year ago today, I uploaded my first YouTube tutorial. I had 500 subscribers and 15,000 views. Since then, I've uploaded 52 videos and I now have just over 30,000 subscribers and 2 million views. Holy crap. So first of all, thank you for being here because honestly, YouTube has quickly become my favorite community online. You guys are awesome. And for those of you who've been here from day one, thank you so much. And if you're new here, hi, nice to meet you. Thanks for checking out my channel. Um, it's been an incredible year. I never in my wildest dreams would have ever expected the kind of growth that's happened in the last year. Um, so I think I'll be saying thank you a lot in this video, but thank you again. <laughs> And in the year that I've been on YouTube, I've learned so much. So today's video is all about my key takeaways from the last year and hopefully this will help you if you're thinking about starting a channel or if you have a channel and you want it to grow a little faster. Um, these are the things that I've learned in the last year. Even though YouTube is all about broadcasting, the biggest lesson that I've learned in the last year is you have to listen if you're gonna succeed on this platform. So the whole reason I started my channel was because I was trying to find a tutorial on how to use Periscope and I couldn't find one so I decided to make one myself because I noticed a lot of other people were looking for the same thing and asking me how to use it. I thought maybe I'd get a couple hundred views on that video and it's now I think around 60,000 uh, and it continues to grow and get comments on a daily basis. And that was my first big lesson is if you make videos around frequently asked questions in your space, in your industry, you listen to what people want to know, those are great clues as to what you should be making your content about. My second lesson is just do it. Do it! It took me a long time to actually pull the trigger and start making YouTube videos, but I'm so glad I did. And I, like I said, it kind of started on a whim um, and I just saw a need for a certain type of video and tutorial. So I just did it uh, and it paid off in dividends and it's still paying off. So I was paralyzed for a long time by the fear and by the million questions that come up. What should I make a video about? What niche am I gonna be in? How do I sound on camera? How do I look on camera? What kind of backdrop do I want? And I get asked these questions all the time by people who want to start channels. But I'm telling you, just start. If you go back and look at my first video, it is not pretty, but it worked. <laughs> so just do it. Lesson number three, it ain't easy, but it's worth it. I mean, it's easy to shoot videos. People overcomplicate that process. I have a webcam that I use. I have very minimal uh, equipment and I started with just a window and a couple books as my tripod. Uh, and you can kind of just use what you have. But also when I say it's not easy, it means that it takes work to create quality content and quality content is what keeps people coming back. So quality of content and doing the research and knowing your, your content uh, topics inside and out is really important. And then consistency is also super, super, super important because then people know that they can expect to see new content from you on a regular basis. And I can tell you, I've had a social media consultancy for about six years and nothing has affected my business positively in the way that YouTube has. So I have gotten speaking engagements directly because of my YouTube content and people finding me through that search engine. Um, and I've gotten uh, media appearances and I've gotten so many new clients and leads from it pretty much on a weekly, daily basis. Uh, so it's an incredible platform. I can't vouch for it enough. And you just have to make sure that you're using it right and putting in the effort to make quality content. Four is leveraging all of your social platforms. So not just staying on YouTube, but taking your YouTube content and turning it into little Instagram videos or Twitter videos or putting it onto Facebook as a native Facebook video um, and using those as teasers to drive people back to your YouTube channel. And also to share the information that you have on YouTube with your other audiences on different platforms. So a big key for me has been leveraging my other social platforms and building my community here on YouTube. 
My final tip is kind of like a three in one. Uh, I made a video not too long ago on how to get more views on YouTube and there's a guide below this video that you can download. Uh, it's called Views While You Snooze and it breaks down everything I do to increase my views and increase my engagement. But really you can break it down into an acronym that I call my ACE strategy. So A is for authority. Make sure that you're talking about things that you know and you love and make sure that you're talking about things that you're actually an expert in because that makes all the difference in the world. The C is for consistency. I mentioned this earlier, but you have to build trust with your community and with your audience and they, and they need to know that they can come back on a specific day of the week and there will be new content for them. And the final thing is E is for engagement. This has been so huge for me and this is why I love YouTube so much. The community that we've built here is so healthy and so strong because we have dialogue. We talk, you guys ask me questions, I answer them. I ask you questions, you answer them. Um, so remember that it's not a monologue, it's a dialogue and to really harvest the relationships with the people who are taking the time out of their day to watch your content because they definitely don't have to. So those are my biggest takeaways from one year of doing these tutorials on YouTube. Uh, this is video number 53, which is crazy. And I said, um, I'd say this a lot at the beginning of this video, but I'm gonna say it again. Thank you so much for being here. It truly blows me away with every video that I post, um, how many of you comment and engage and share. Um, it just, is a dream come true. I've made videos since I was a kid. It's what I love doing and I'm so glad that you guys see value in it. So thank you, thank you, thank you again. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Um, and I wanna know what you guys wanna see more of on my channel. So leave a comment below this video and let me know what you wanna see in the next year cause I love doing creative things and I love your ideas. So let me know what you wanna see on this channel for sure. If you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe. And if you want exclusive marketing tips and tricks, I share them only via email and you can sign up on my website at sunnyleonarduzzi.com. Oh, and this is now a Patreon funded channel. So if you want to become a patron of my channel and check out all of the awesome rewards for, for viewers like yourself, you can go to the link below this video and check that out. Thank you so much again for like the 50th time and here's to the next year. Yay!